morning sunshine. We are running errands today. La mangarita que va de la taza a la pared, pero no sé si hay bien en diferentes tamaños porque no la traje. So we just came back from one of our trips and it occurred to me that I've never shown you what my day looks like when we come back. Cause there's a lot of things that I have to do. This broke a few days ago and I didn't really know how to find it without the piece. So I unlocked the piece to bring it and forgot it. Luckily there's only one size according to her. I hope it fits. Today's to-do list consists of things like fixing broken things in the house, like pay bills in person, get medication, see doctors, etc. I ran out of medicine. So I'm out of my thyroid my medication and unfortunately they didn't have my dose, but you can pretty much go to any pharmacy and they sell it to you over the counter. If you're new to me, hi, my name is Karen and my daughters and I have been traveling full time for the past five years and using Mexico as our home base for the past two. Today one stayed home while the other one came with me. This is the office of my general practitioner. I only see him if I need antibiotics or things like that. He's been my doctor since we first got here. He's fluent in English and there's been times that he just doesn't charge me if he can't help me, which I find so intriguing. He did a house visit for Kiara when she was really, really sick. I usually look for pharmacies that you can use a credit card because my bank charges me really, really high fees when I use my check card. So this is my go-to one because it's right across from the Socalo. I bought this. This is for ulcer. This and a water. Oh, that was about $17. So in the U.S. my insurance covers it, but I don't need insurance here because it's affordable. <gasps> I put my foot in the gross water. Put my foot in the gross water. Now I know why people don't wear sandals here. Then I had to pay my electric bill, and it's fairly easy to pay it. You can just go to the machine, you put in your account number, and the only thing is that it won't always give you change, so I'll keep it as a credit. First moved here, my um, electricity bill was like 400 pesos for two months. Now it's gone up to a thousand pesos for two months. I could also pay it at the OXO. I could also pay the cable bill at the OXO, which is kind of like a convenience store. I just find it a lot easier to pay on that machine because it always gets it right. So this is our soccer ball. And these are the only things that we have in Centro. Some of the OXOs have ATMs, not all of the OXOs, but I uh, usually prefer to go to the bank because not every bank accepts my card. So we have a city bank around the corner, we have Santander, and we have the one I go to, which I don't know the name of. And across the street, there's a Banco Azteca. There seems to be more of those around. HSBC. If I want to get money out, the other option would be go to Walmart or Santa Alley or something like that. This is definitely a cash type of town, so I try to always have cash on me. Okay, we need a break. Plan is to eat up there. Now in San Cristobal, there's always something new opening up. But aside from that, there's so many places to eat that even if I ate somewhere different every day, I don't think I would ever get to all of them. Um, every street has little tiny places that you can eat. I usually stay away from the ones in the main strip because they're usually really touristy. The prices on this one were really reasonable though, so I was quite surprised. I think that's an antro, which is like a club. But this one is a hotel. And it had a beautiful view. And thank you, Mario, for my orange juice today. I'm not drinking coffee, but I'm really enjoying it. I really appreciate you guys' support. This was a traditional dish from Chiapas that I had never had before. It had chunks of boiled plantain underneath the egg and topped with some stringy cheese and salsa. It was delicious. Now we're on our way to the dentist. That's another thing that we have to do as soon as we come back. Okay, I'm back at it. My daughter sees the dentist once a month to adjust her braces. So today we had an appointment to do just that. The dentist has been really flexible with us and all the traveling that we do. So we make sure to schedule the trips around her dentist appointments and the dentist appointment is flexible when we need to stretch it out a little bit more. 
I have to say that I am so happy with the progress. It has really been so easy and she's so cool and nice to her and treats her like a grown up. Explains to her things so she can take care of her own teeth, which I love. I really love that. So I feel like Akira has grown um, to be wiser through this process and it's quite amazing to see. And I have to say that we came out of there kind of happy because... Good news! In three months she might be done. Maybe, potentially. And that is something that we're all looking forward to. For her to be done with her braces. So, because of the good news, we stopped and got a little treat. And I love this bakery. It's one of my favorites in town. I used to bring my niece here when she came to visit. But, um... You know this stuff is good because there's bees everywhere. <laughs> and you can see the stuff being baked in the back. Um, everything always tastes fresh and the service is really nice. The people that work there have always been really kind. And of course, they're delicious. So there's that. And the cool part is that for the big breads, they'll slice them for you. So I usually will get this instead of regular sandwich bread. And then off to the next destination. And then I came across this. Can we go in there? Can we go in there? Can we go in there? Please! Like the door is like right there. It's hot. I don't know what it was, but it looked like a museum. Next is Mega Cabinet. I love museums. But anyways, Mega Cable. This is where I pay my Wi-Fi. Which is usually about between 500 and 800 pesos. Then we made an unexpected pit stop at this place. It was so cute and new. Now they have three different stores, so I were four. But I've been to all the other ones. So it was nice to see this new one. Very cute. That wasn't part of the plan. But I couldn't resist. Also, when we come back, I always sign up the girls back in classes. And in this place they take a pottery class. So I was just checking to see if the teacher's still available because we have a lot of teachers that come and go. It's a nomadic community in some aspects. So I did see a sign that said pottery. It didn't say the teacher's name though. But I will be calling her to see if she's still there. And then I kind of got lost for a moment. <laughs> um, yeah, going to the store kind of threw me off. But anyways, we are headed to a co-working space because one of the things that the girls want to do is have somewhere to go to be able to do their computer work. If you don't know, my girls are homeschooled, so they find that having their own space could be helpful. So we were looking at this to see if we could get a little private room for the three of us and a friend to do our computer work. They said it would be 4,600 pesos a month for unlimited. Okay, we're done because I'm exhausted. Thanks for joining me. Love you. Bye.